All right, we've had our laughs. We learned how to be proficient. <laughs> learned about communication, some great ideas about communication. Now, right now, I want everybody to think about one thing that you've started, but you haven't had the ability or you haven't had the chance to finish. And write it down on your, feet, your sheet of paper right in front of you. I'll give you guys about 30 seconds to do that. So think real hard. Think real fast. All right, now what I want you to do is take that paper and turn it over. I don't want you to look at it right now. One thing that we want to do today, one thing that I am going to do today is share with you four secrets, four things that you can do to increase your ability to finish. Now, the first thing that we're going to talk about before we even get to that is a little bit about where I come from. Uh, when I was 13 years old, I remember never being sick a day in my life, but I found myself in a hospital bed after taking a battery of tests. And not only that, I was exhausted. Blood was been taken. I'm talking about MRI. I'm so many things have been, been taken. They're trying to find out what's wrong with Chris. What's wrong with him? What's going on with him? So I'm exhausted, guys. They're trying to find out what's wrong with me. So I fall asleep, and when I wake up, I look over to the side of my bed, and I see my mother over there crying. At that moment, I knew that she knew exactly what was wrong with me. So I asked her, I said, Mom, what is it that they say is wrong with me? And she turned back over to me, and she said, Chris, they, they said you have leukemia. And I turned back to her. I'm 13 years old, so I say, listen. Am I going to lose my hair, Mom? <laughs> that was my first question. I'm 13, right? Yeah. So um, that's what I asked her. And then she said, yeah, they said you might lose your hair. And I turned back over to her. And here's where it happened. Here's where I saw myself finishing. This is what I said to her. I'm willing to get sick so that I can get better. At that moment, I had visibility. Everybody put your hand to your face just like that. Visibility. At that moment, I saw the finish line. I saw what was possible for me. Just like Zig Ziglar says, it's real easy to hit a target that you have, but it's real hard to hit a target that you don't have. Is that right? Somebody say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So what I actually had was visibility. I saw myself not dying from this, but I saw myself getting through this and being cancer free one day. But the second thing I needed to have was, I needed to have believability. Put your hand to your heart, just like that. I needed to have believability. Not only did I need to see myself at the finish line, but I also needed to believe that I would get there. I had to believe that I could get there. Just like you, I don't know exactly what it is that you wrote on your paper, but I do know that you want to finish it. Why? Because you wouldn't have wrote it if you didn't want to finish that. And it's something that's important to you, is that right? It's something that's very important to you and that you definitely want to finish. So you definitely need to see yourself finishing, but you also need to believe that you can finish. Is that right? Yes. And the third thing we need to have as far as wanting to finish and needing to finish what it is that you start, the third thing we need to have is I count ability. Go ahead and count with me. I count ability. That means that if you are on your way to a path. What you want to do, you want to make sure that you're counting along the way. You're taking time out to actually see where am I at compared to where I want to be. You want to take some time out as far as looking at what it is that you've done, if you have accomplished, or what, is it, what it is that you have not accomplished because you always want to be checking up on yourself to see exactly where you are according to your, where you want to be. And for, as for me, that was going to the hospital. That was getting my blood checked. That was making sure that I was okay, making sure that my, the cancer had left my body. Is that right? But the last thing we need to do is this. Accountability. We need to have accountability. Go ahead and put your hands together just like this. We need to have accountability. And as far as accountability is concerned, I had my mom, I had my church family. They were surrounding me. They all had my back. You need to have somebody that has your back around you at all times that you've shared your goal with, somebody that you've shared your, your, 
your, your, your, your desire to finish with. Somebody that knows you, somebody that's pushing you forward, that is not satisfied with where you are, but they want you to go, get to where you say you want to go. So it would be really good to share that goal that you just wrote down. Share that piece that you want to finish with whoever it is that you know can push you forward towards that. And then at the end of the day, when you have visibility, when you have believability, you see yourself finishing and you believe that you're going to get to the finish line. But you also are counting along the way so you can actually know exactly where you are and where you need to make any adjustments. And then you've surrounded yourself with the right type of accountability. Then you'll become a finisher. You'll cross the finish line and you'll be a finish, a finisher. So everybody stand up with me because I'm going to ensure that the four points that we went over today, I'm going to ensure that the four points we went over today, from now on that you'll be able to remember what you learned today because it will be, it will be worthless for you to spend this time with me today and for you to go out of here and not remember what you learned. Is that right? Somebody say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So the first thing we need is what? Okay, that was good, but that wasn't great, okay? <laughs> the first thing we need is what? The next thing we need is what? The next thing we need is what? And the next thing we need is what? And then you'll become a? Finish well. Thank you.